All right, I'm on my way down to Venice for the annual Faux Pas Lodge Invitational Rodeo. It's a big, big, big event. Same weekend as the Grand Isle Tarpon Rodeo, another big event here in South Louisiana. The Faux Pas attracts some of the best fishermen in the state, really from throughout the region, competing in various categories. Over the last five years, I've covered it for the TimespeakUnionola.com, but this year I'm down there videoing and working the way in. Also, we got a fishing trip planned. If you're from out of town, you know where Venice is. It's at the mouth of the Mississippi River, at the end of a narrow strip of land known as Plaquemines Parish that runs parallel with the river and juts out into the Gulf of Mexico. The great thing about Venice, you're very, very close to some very deep water in the Gulf, and the offshore fishing can be just tremendous. Every year that I'm here for faux pas, we go out and catch red snapper very, very close to the coast. That's our plan for tomorrow. Hopefully the winds cooperate because we're not going out in a very big boat. But this is just one of my favorite weekends. It is so much fun. For me, it's kind of the last big event of summer. I know we still got another month of summer, but this is it. it kind of almost heralds the beginning of fall for me. Just an absolute blast. All right, so this always kind of blows my mind. This is a stretch of the drive to Venice that you actually head back north. It's a big bend in the river that heads back to the north. And not coincidentally, this is where the U.S. put a fort back in the 1800s to defend the city of New Orleans. Engineers figured that'd be a good place for the fort because ships would have to turn there. It would slow down and kind of become sitting ducks. All right, so I just made it down to Venice. I'm staying on a houseboat with some friends, but I don't really know where it is. So that's kind of the first order of business, figure out where I'm supposed to go. It's kind of one of those deals, like, do you take all your stuff or do you just go find where you're supposed to go first? I think I'm just gonna go find where I'm supposed to go. All right, I think this is home for the next few days, the Miss Gabrielle. Big step. Success. Oh man, let me tell you, that was a terrible night. <laughs> the power went out to the houseboat, so it got hot as Hades in there. Not only that, but the guy I was rooming with uses a CPAP. Since we didn't have power, it wasn't working, so he snored terribly. I don't think I slept the entire night. I am tired. C.T. Williams is meeting us at the dock this morning, 6 a.m. It's about 5.50 right now, so you got about 10 minutes getting all my stuff together. We've got just a little bit of a wind blowing. Looks like it's straight out of the north. If it stays low like this, it's gonna be really, really nice offshore. Hopefully we can get out and get some snapper. That would definitely make my day. All right, tonight we're drawing straws to see who has to sleep with Sam. <laughs> A little bit of snoring there. Let me make this clear. I don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. I have an extra cabin over there. All right, CT, what's the plan for today? The plan for today, well, yesterday we spent a lot of time on the east side of the river. We really didn't find a lot that we like. So we're going west, going to tack over. If the, if the weather stays like it was yesterday, we can go to Cuba to look for fish. The water was absolutely gorgeous. I got to tell you, if you can get uh, to Guantanamo Bay, I know that area You know that well. area well? Yeah. Well, we may make that stop at some point. Okay. So it's we'll not a bad that. idea. But I it's all the, the way around to the south, the biggest, The biggest key today is bait. And we found some amazing bait yesterday. It was really nice three-inch mullet. We probably had like 400 of them. Had a few little pogies. The pogies going from the brackish water to the salt don't make it real well. They kind of become chum right off the bat. That, that's a bad thing. So if we can find some mullet, and find some rigs. Yesterday we couldn't fish red snapper. Today we can. So that's the plan. Sam, you optimistic? Oh, absolutely. Oh, I'm, you're, I thought you. I thought I didn't realize I had a camera on my face. Let me start over. Let How me about, start over. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh wait, let me start over. Yeah. I didn't say that right. All right, the sun is coming up. We're about to run. 
Great. How long of a run we got, CT? A long run. A long run to bait? Not a long run 30 to bait. minutes? Eh, about that. 30 minutes to bait. We'll be back with you in a minute. So the hunt for bait begins. Foggy right here. You saw him? Flipping? Saw him flipping? No, uh, flip. Not that great of a cast net drawer. How big is that net? This is a six, the other one's an eight. That's you, what she you gonna said. catch pogies in a six? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Nice. Good throw, Sam. Give me that, pull that big one out, Justin. This, ain't gonna, this little one ain't gonna cut it. Yeah, there we go. Well, he right. cut it a little bit. Looks like we got it a lot. Bogeys. All right, little guys. Yeah. Sam, I don't know if you can improve on that cast. That's about perfect. Not really. The, the, the ideal thing is to spiral it. But I don't throw it the right way. There's about 4,000 ways to throw a I cast. Know, I know. You think you can throw a net well until you go to the islands and you watch a six-year-old spiral a 12-footer. <laughs> right. right. You know. Oh, flick, dead saw head. it. Yep. Dead ahead. Dead ahead. Another one. It went All to right, where? Come to neutral, see? Neutral. Got it. There it is. There it is. He's talking at you. Don't be afraid. Not bad, Sam. Oh yeah, I see. Oh, lots. Yeah, a lot of Oh, he did bad. Look at the size of that. Oh, those are Mo Nicer. Mo Nicer. And I can tell you, fresh pogey, a hundred times better than the ones in the box. All right, so we got a good batch of pogies. We're going to make a few more casts, but the problem with pogies is keeping them alive. They're really, really difficult to keep alive. You think they're gonna school up in the corners or you think it's rounded enough? It, 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 it holds pogies very well. And so it's, it's also a huge live well. You've got a lot of water, volumes, everything. Just, just being able to get oxygen is what they need. All right, hopefully they survive. It'd be nice to have them alive, but even dead, they're gonna be very, very useful. As Sam was saying, fresh pogies, way better than frozen pogies. Ooh, something's hitting me. Something's hitting me. It's got to be. Uh, it's got to be white trout. It's feeling like brim taps. White trout. Nice white trout. Whitey. You hook him up for. Um, Hook him up for uh, a Kobe a bait. Uh, oh, Jesus. Big oh, shark. Big ass shark. What? He hit your pogey? Yeah. You just got the circle Yeah. Another disadvantage to those things. Oh, yeah. It's a beast. Beauty. He's got some friends with him, some jacks. Look at that one. Look at that monster mangrove. Look at that fish. Swim down, buddy. Swim down. They will not hit the dead ones. It's got to be alive and frisky. It's got to be fresh out the well. No, those are not frisky. That's where I got this one. It's got to be right out the well. Dude, so many fish. There we go. There we go. Oh! No, it was. He wasn't in the rig. <laughs> no, there's one with me. Just won't hit it. You got to get two or more. You got to get that competition. And my bait's getting long in the tooth. Oh, nice. Danica's got one. 
Mango? Good job. Bow grips on the back of the... Uh, Look, he threw up two of them. Danica, did you see him hit it? You felt him. See, I'm like totally freelining. and I can't, I can't feel anything. You're not tight lining it. I'm freelining it. Bank shot. That's no good. The pogies don't like that. Get him, JB. What's up? Oh. What's up? Oh. Holy crap! I'm trying to get in a boat with you. How was that? What was it? A shark. A shark? Bottom of your boat. Are you guys in the middle of that hole there? All right, Dale. But you got a different setup. Move, 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 move. Oh, shit, he's right, heading for the rig. Walk back, he's going to the rig. Get that Cravel. I like it, I like the stiff one. Fucking jack. He really Oh, look at that. Oh, shark. 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 Stay out the rig. Stay out the trolling motor. Get on him, Jimmy. Look at his mouth and his shark on his butt. You're going like, hey, come on, man, cooperate a little bit. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> I said I'd like to. Uh, there's a shark, a little shark chase. Yep. Uh -huh. No, it's another. That's another. Cool. Another jack. Mm -hmm. It's got a button on it. That's a Thank you, Sammy. Slip cork is the key. If we had somebody who could get him up. That's a mangrove. Mangrove. He's dead behind. He's dead behind. Mangrove. If we had more slip cores, we'd whack them. I don't know if it's slip cork or a steel. <laughs> you want to trade rods? Huh? We can see. No, I'll reel with the other hand. <laughs> no bites, Danica? Really? Maybe I need two. Yeah, maybe. They're robbing me. Yeah, you might have. Yep. Man, I'm rubbing on something. No, it's not stuck, but it's rubbing. Bottom. 190 feet. All right, we go. Good snap. That a bunch? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Oh, awesome. That I know, you're right. <laughs> it is. I thought the same thing. It's got to get close and you look and go, Jiminy. Where's he at, Danica? 45. Oh, that's not bad. Should see color soon. Yep. A lot of color, just a little bit of just color. Just a little bit of color. I think I'm, a, I think I'm imagining oh, color, actually. Oh, there he color. is. There he is. I see him. Oh, it's just a speck. It's a giant. <laughs> Way up there. Not a bad one. Not bad. It's a keeper. It's a definite not keeper. Bad. All right. Good job, Danica. Filling up the box. Closer. Can't get in, Craig. Oh, you got the magic trick back here. I'll reel this one in. <laughs> I'll tell you the magic trick. Okay. You gotta hold your mouth right. Nope. You gotta hook them right. Oh. Come on. Back. Yeah. That's why I was, I was hooking them through the eyes and it kept coming off. I'd get the hits, but I couldn't hook the fish. I'm not even getting hits. I wasn't even getting hits. Oh, I'm good. Popped every time down. I 
did. Oh! Jillian, you want this one? This is a pig. This is a pig. Oh, sh he got in the rig. They did. See? Come on, Jillian. Right here. Give her this rod. Here. There you go. No, you're not stuck. You're going to fish. Okay. Hit it. Faster, faster. Gotta get up. Come on. Crack it. Crack What's that counter on? All right, you're getting close. Hey, try and swing the rod this way. There you go. It's going to be hard for me to net him because he's going to be... All right, all right. Don't, don't reel too much. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Nice one. All right. Woo! You want to hold him or no? no. Hell no. You gotta hold him. You said you would take one. I'm not. All right. Good job, Danica. Go, 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 I'll <laughs> look. Uh, she's like 110. No, 140. Like 140. Like <laughs> what is that? Get up, get up. What is that? It's a drum. A croaker. Look at the size of that croaker. Look at the size of that croaker. Dude. Yeah, no, no, no. But that, that, that used to be what you got out here. That's a croaker. And it's a delicious fish right there, baby. Is that a croaker? Yeah. Definitely, it's a croaker. Is that a uh, state record, IGFA state record? No, the state record is like six pounds on croaker. Really? He's got to be, what, two? Pretty good. Here. You want it? Oh. Julian. I think he's off. Here, I'll get that fish. Let me get this in. It's a snapper. There it is. That's a nice one. That's a pig. Here. Oh, look at that. Danica. Oh, here. Bring him over here. I'll get him. That's a big snapper. Dude. That's the snapper of the day right there. Danica, we did it. The snap's Right. I think he might be deceased. That's gross. Dude, that's awesome. That's awesome. Good oh. fish. Oh. Sweet. Yeah. We did it. There it is. One ninety nine. <laughs> Back to two oh four. One ninety seven. Two oh one. Good guy. Yeah, he's a good fish. I gotta get him bent. I think I'm in a rig. One seventy seven. All right, here's my last one. No, it's not your last one. <laughs> yep. That's the last one that we have our last one. 100. Halfway there. You can do it. Nobody can drop in a pound and a half away. 200 feet for about an hour right. now. Right. <laughs> Making me laugh doesn't help. Just so you know. Should see color. You see color? No color. Oh, we got color. I was hoping it was a six pound croaker. Oh, there you go. Nice. Oh. I don't catch those little ones like Justin. Oh, Justin. 
you have a counter or no? You don't know where you are. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Just think, you drove three hours to Venice to do this. two fish short of our red snapper limit and we're catching them almost every drop so we're about to close in on our legal limit what an absolutely incredibly fun trip hats off to captain ct williams for manning the controls of the boat and keeping us in position to catch these snapper today they were dead on the bottom 190 feet of water with a stiff current boy you had to earn each one no doubt about it biggest fish was 12 pounds so they're not crazy big giants but definitely enough to give you a good workout. I gotta tell you, I am whipped.